Welcome to Lucid Mind Chemistry channel. In this video, I have compiled questions related to the properties of ideal gas such as effect of pressure, temperature, deviation of ideal gas behavior, kinetic theory, etc. For similar topics and question timestamps, read video description. Question 33. Many gases do not obey the general gas equation at high pressures. Why is this? Number 1. At higher pressure, the molecules have more energy. This is incorrect because pressure does not provide energy. Only temperature provides kinetic energy to molecules. Second, at higher pressure, the volume of molecules is larger proportion of the total volume. Now, according to general gas equation or ideal gas equation, the volume of molecules is negligible as compared to total volume. So when higher pressure is applied, the molecules come close together. So therefore, the volume of molecules become quite significant. So this statement is true. Third one, at higher pressure, the molecules experience greater intramolecular forces. Also, we know that according to ideal gas equation, there are no forces of attraction or repulsion between molecules. So as at higher pressure, the molecules experience greater intramolecular forces because the molecules come close together and IMF is developed. So therefore, this is why gases do not obey the general gas equation. As option 2 and 3 are correct, answer is therefore C. Question number 7. Under which conditions will nitrogen behave most like an ideal gas? There are few properties of ideal gas among which we have that the distance between the molecules is very large as compared to the diameter of the molecules. And second is that there are no forces of attraction or repulsion present between the molecules. Now we can see that the effect of temperature is that if we increase the temperature, what happens that the kinetic energy of the molecules increase and the intermolecular forces are reduced. So the temperature must be high for ideal gas situation. Similarly for pressure, we know that at high pressure, the molecules come close together and therefore intermolecular forces are developed. But in ideal gas, there are no forces of attraction. So therefore, the pressure must be very low. So therefore, at high temperature and low pressure, the gas will behave like an ideal gas. The answer is therefore B. Question 7. What changes in conditions or molecular properties make it more likely that gases approach ideal behavior? Now for ideal gas, you must remember that there are zero forces of attraction or repulsion between the molecules and there are large spaces between the molecules. In A, we have higher pressure. So at higher pressure, the spaces will become smaller. So it is incorrect. B. At lower temperature, the intermolecular forces will develop. So it is also incorrect. C. More polar molecules means more intermolecular forces of attraction. So it is also incorrect. D. Is weaker intermolecular forces. So as we are approaching zero forces for ideal behavior, so there must be weaker intermolecular forces present. The correct answer is therefore D. Question 6. Which gas is likely to deviate most from ideal gas behavior? Now, ideal gas is the one that has no intermolecular forces of attraction or repulsion between its molecules. And in ideal gas, there is no loss of energy upon collisions. Now, the gas that would have intermolecular forces and loss of energy would be the one that is deviating from ideal gas behavior. In A, we can see that we have HCl, 
hydrogen is partial positive chlorine is partial negative so we have intramolecular forces of attraction because this molecule is polar so it will deviate from ideal gas behavior in b we have helium helium is a noble gas so therefore there is no charge and no force of attraction helium is the one that will be the most close to ideal gas behavior so b is incorrect C is methane which is CH4 and we know that there is not much electron activity difference between carbon and hydrogen so therefore this is non-polar molecule. As the number of atoms are greater as compared to helium so it will deviate a little bit from ideal gas behavior but as there are no charges present so therefore the deviation will not be the most. In D we have nitrogen again nitrogen is a neutral molecule. Both atoms are present of nitrogen so therefore no charges are present. So this gas is also close to ideal gas behavior. The only gas that deviates most is HCl. Question 2. What is the basic assumption of the kinetic theory as applied to an ideal gas? A. Collisions between molecules are elastic. This is a true statement for ideal gas as there is no energy gained or lost among collisions so the collisions are perfectly elastic. B. Each gas molecule occupies a finite volume. Now according to ideal gas theory the volume of one gas molecule is almost negligible. It is not finite. So part B is incorrect c gases consist of particles that experience the force of gravity in ideal gas situation there is no force of attraction or repulsion between the molecules and between molecules and gravitational force so therefore this is incorrect in d again we can see that gas molecules attract each other so there must be forces of attraction which is also incorrect for ideal gas the only correct option is a Thanks for watching. If this was useful, please do like, subscribe and share.